What is up my ninjas? I'm Strident and I am back with an update video. Happy New Year to all you guys. Um I hope this new year brings tons and tons and tons of creativity, tons of inspiration and tons of just cool stuff for everybody. Um myself included cuz good lord, I can use some uh some uh, extra inspiration and stuff, you know. I'm finding things all over the place, but more is always, you know, appreciated. So anyway, the picture you see here is a bunch of customs done by uh, a ninja on, uh, one of my ninjas on uh, Facebook. His name is uh, Wang Wang Ping. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. Sometimes it's Wang, sometimes it's Wang, depending on where you're from, but hopefully I'm saying that properly mr wang wang ping he um does some insane customs using existing parts of gi joe figures on gi joe figures he doesn't do the lazy take the marauders and then just find colors that look the same but all the individual parts are identical on all of them and just say it's that character because the color scheme matches he takes it a step further finding existing characters with existing parts taking them apart and you know actually customizing and then repainting everything and modifying parts to make it look more you know like what he's trying to get at and the results are insane um i've been wanting to do a uh kind of a showcase of customs that i find that show that gi joe has more life left in it even if you you know given the current price for joe's we should be getting so much more. And when you see customs like these, you know, this is a modern reimagining of the OG 13. The key word is modern reimagining. A lot of people forget that the original 13 popped up during the beginnings or the, mil uh, the early portion of the Cold War. So they're not gonna look like, you can't use modern design sensibilities when you reimagine them. You have to be, uh, appropriate to the time period and the problem that i find with a lot of the customs that i see is that people don't they want to set them back in the day so all the gear and all the weapons you see around them and the vehicles are the old vehicles but it's like an alternate reality type deal but they didn't say that you know what i'm saying i'm i'm adding my own expertise and my own imagination to what they've done and it should be very straightforward if it's going to take place you know, in the 70s and the 80s, they need to look like soldiers from the 70s and the 80s just with cooler shit, you know, the designs. Um, if they're going to be modern, you go here. You know what I'm saying? And there's, I've seen a lot of good modern ones, but I just wanted to showcase this because this is something that I've wanted to do for a while and I plan on doing it. Um, I really dig what they do, what he's done here. And I wish Hasbro would take note and then, you know, update appropriately because not only does he update the look Look at their articulation. Everyone's arms go down to their sides. Everyone can shoulder a pistol, I mean a, a rifle. Everybody can bend their knees correctly. Everybody can hold their knives and whatnot. You don't see a lot of tiny little things that they can actually interact with because Joes are designed a certain way and it makes sense. So, I mean, this, this makes me happy to see. Now, I figured I would get that out of the way just because I know people will be asking, what are those? What are those? And I'll leave his information in the uh the the doobly-doo as they call it <laughs> the doobly-doo in the whatchamacallit the who's your what's it in the description box below but um updates so there's a lot of things i had mentioned a lot of stuff shadow tracker is on point it's almost done probably here in the next couple weeks you should see it um i have a bunch of patreon stuff going out I only have three patrons, so it's not as difficult as it seems, but it's still very time consuming. Um, they've been, uh, ODC can, can put up, or you can talk to him about it. Um, he's been made a character in War of the Gods in the first age. So the, the kind of like a throwback era to the golden age of superheroes, ODC gets to be, you know, the guardian, uh, one of New York's guardians in that, in our universe. Um, TJ347 is going to be uh, the next one. He's going to be also made uh, a guardian hero in the first age. And uh, the same goes for my homeboy uh, Elias. Elias is going to also be made a character in that universe. Um, now I'm just doing this. 
uh, it's a big thank you, you know, because especially to uh, TJ347. Um, I did this with my One Ninja, um, the Briscoe 1234. It's kind of a commemorative type deal because my homeboy passed away a couple years back and uh, I didn't know. And uh, when I when I when I caught wind of it, I was just like, "What the hell?" I didn't I didn't know. We talked a lot, but I had no idea that there was anything going on in his world. This is another reason why you know a lot of times we tell people, you know, be careful how you treat the folks you meet online because you're only getting a portion of who they are via, you know, whatever the internet you know uh, vehicle is you know what i mean whatever your chosen format is you're getting a part of the story you're not always getting the whole story and to treat them like shit you have no idea what's going on in their world so that's just not cool but homeboy i have uh, tried my best to immortalize him as a knight uh in my uh universe he is one of strident the first homeboys and i'm gonna try to keep it going where he pops up later on so he was he was uh he teamed up with uh, Strident the First on one of his missions, and uh, he is going to show up later on to help out Strident the Second, which is me. Um, I just want to, you know, slowly but surely do this, and I might do a video where I showcase some of these characters to let you see what I've been coming up with. Um, by no means is 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 my book out there to be like I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. No, I'm I'm pretty surgical at what I do, but <clears throat> excuse me there are a lot of things that i do the way i do it just because it works for me and i'm not trying to be like everybody else you know i want my work to speak for itself i definitely am doing a lot of original stuff and i'm not doing a lot of fan stuff because i'm tired of fan things those things that fan art i mean i do fan art don't get me wrong but i'm not gonna uh, uh saturate my websites and my channels with nothing but fan art because that stuff already exists those guys are already making their money they're already getting known and new stuff needs to pop up this is why we're in the rut that we're in in uh film and anime and comics and whatnot it's too much of the same shit getting overexposed and new stuff is just not getting a chance so my goal is to introduce you to more new stuff and let you see how that stuff uh, uh, you know, fares against the other stuff. I mean, you guys like Fenris Company, so you know that the ideas are flowing and it's not like I'm churning out the same old shit. A lot of my ideas are pretty far from what you typically see. I know some of you feel the same way because we chat about it and we, we talk about all that stuff, so it's all coming. More, 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 more of that stuff is coming and I'm going to be highlighting people from all over. Um, there's a lot of things I wanted to do before that I was talking about that I just was kind of like, mm, and I haven't gotten around to, but I'm going to be doing that stuff um, now this year, starting this month. Um, the last thing is I was talking about instructional videos where I talk about how to do some certain things. Um, I'm going to do a couple diorama videos because I used to do these uh, three wall or, you know, floor two wall dioramas. I did one of a jail cell, which I'll find the picture if I can and pop it up here. If not, you'll see it in the future. Um, I usually come up with these ideas while I'm recording because I don't write scripts and then try to fill it in, you know, in post when I'm finishing everything. But you know if it doesn't make it up in there you'll see it in another video but i did one like that i did one that was a control panel for uh, or actually the ready room for uh the joes you saw it in the gi joe 2.0 little teaser thing with uh, uh well it wasn't a teaser but it was like the prologue the part with uh cobra commander and the speech and then it cut to the joes and you see they were watching it on like a viewing screen um and i did uh another one but i'm gonna do one from scratch for the video so that you guys can see that it's not really that hard. There are so many shortcuts to do it, and if you want to take it further, you can always take it further with actual props being put into it. I'm just going to do walled off and floored, you know, two walls so you can see in there, and if you want to move your camera around, it will be easy for those of you who take pictures. But it will be real easy to play in there because you're not restricted by, you know, three walls. Because a lot of times you have a floor, and then you have two walls on the sides, and you have your ceiling. And sometimes getting in there and trying to do stuff, it's hard. Shadows are in the way. We're not putting a roof. We're just doing the walls. You can always do the walls high enough to give the illusion of a roof. And, uh, you know, 
we can go from there. Props are really simple to put in there. I'm also about to put up my, uh, um, good Lord, my brain, my best of 2017. And uh, it'll have some a, a couple worst. I didn't really fail very much with uh, figures last year. Most of the figures, if not everything I bought, was pretty up to snuff. There were a couple things I got that weren't what I expected, but that's not a fault of the figure. That's my fault for not really knowing exactly what I was going up against or getting into. So, yeah, expect that coming soon. That's probably going to be the next video I pop up here after this. Um, but the instructional videos, and I'm talking about the, the ones that I told you on Patreon. I said this to Elias and uh, uh, TJ. Um, those were supposed to come up sometime the end of last year. They're coming up here in the next couple months i'm gonna have them up here probably in the next couple weeks i should say but just shoot for the next couple months just to be safe um shadow tracker like i said that's on its way um showcase of characters created for war of the gods from people that i actually know that's on its way and uh you know tons of other stuff that i haven't even got to yet so keep your eyes opened Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way up to this point, you know. I'm going to say this every year because, like I said, this is a hobby. And the fact that I have people that actually look forward to seeing what I want to show and what, what I want to talk about. I want to join in the conversation respectfully and actually talk like we're people that know each other, man. That shit's dope because we do, to a degree, know each other because you've been talking to me back and forth. And I've been talking to you back and forth for what five six years now so it's dope that uh we we actually uh you know we've got this relationship and i enjoy it it's probably the best part about doing this stuff i'm starting to get disenfranchised though because of the amount of you know fucktards that pop up and try to kill the vibe but at the same time the fact that you guys are here it helps continue the vibe and it helps make me feel like this is a worthwhile thing and I enjoy it and I'm going to keep doing it, you know, for as long as I can. So thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, that's really it for me. You guys have been great as always. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace outside.